This is Pelly, the very imaginative name I've given to a pelican who nested near the hotel where we holidayed recently. He spent all day roosting on the gazebo roof, diving for fish, drifting on the breeze, and entertaining the tourists. And when I think that while I'm soon going to be snow deep in the cold, icy winter months of the north, while Pelly will be languidly idling on that sun-kissed gazebo roof or soaring through that gorgeous blue sky, this is how I like to think of him. Mmm, Pelicanicious. But I guess we got to live and let live. So fly, Pelly, fly. <laughs> Looking at Pelly the pelican, flying so peacefully above us, got me thinking of what it's like when we emerge out of a valley or out of a time of trial or challenge to a mountaintop experience. What am I talking about? Well, first of all, your valley is your time of suffering. Perhaps it's a broken relationship, a medical diagnosis that frightens you, or the death of a loved one, problems, things that derail you on your way to the mountaintop. And the mountaintop now is that space and time where everything seems to be going well. You feel healthy, blessed, maybe you've got a good job, your family's doing well. But as someone wise once said, if you are on the mountaintop now, you've either just come through a valley or you're about to go into one. So what do you do when it feels like you're stuck in a valley and will never see a mountaintop or a victorious moment? Isaiah 40, 31 says, Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. Holly Girth says in her devotional, Rain on Me, We can take the difficulties in life and use them as a force that takes us higher than ever before. That isn't an easy thing to do. But God promises that if we spread our wings and yield to the winds He's allowed to come into our lives, He will give us the strength to soar. And Leanne Maston on her website addysjourney.com says, So many times we are on the climb, slowly making our way to the top. We can see the mountain top, but then out of nowhere, an avalanche of problems, devastation, and fear comes crashing down on us, and we find ourselves plummeting back to the bottom of the mountain back into the valley of despair. The enemy convinces us to give up, and we begin to live in the valley of discouragement, depression, anxiety, and defeat, instead of reaching up to the one who can bring us out of the valley to a life living on the mountaintop. Maston encourages us with this line. Remember Psalms 23, 4 says, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And this should comfort us to know that God will give us his hope and strength as we travel through those dark times. Maston says, as she studied this part of the verse, walked through the valley. It reminded her that we're not going to stay in the valley. We are just on the journey through it. God holds our hand as he gently walks us through any problem, any circumstance, any health issue, any decision that we face in life. It is up to us to seek, trust, and hold tight to his promises until we see a victory, whatever that may be. Walking in the valley with God changes everything. He won't leave you. And when you feel like you can't find your way out of the valley to climb that mountain, cry out to him and he will save. The Father promises that even in the presence of trials and tribulations, he is with us and his presence changes everything. So it is now up to us to dedicate our time to pray to Him and to praise Him no matter what's happening. And in that way, we build our relationship with Him. And even when things don't change as quickly as we would like, when we are in His presence, we walk with peace and joy. And again, that comes from Leanne Maston's website, addysjourney.com. So remember that when we're praising God, we're keeping our eyes on Him and of course not on ourselves or on our problems and circumstances. Remember that he is working all things out for your good behind the scenes in ways that we may not always see. So we know and we can trust that he will take us and take you from the valley, through the valley, through the clouds, up to the mountain top. Amen. So here is our finished painting. Uh, you might notice that I threw a plane in there for us to be on so we can soar above the clouds too. Ha! Take that, Pelly. 
<laughs> Thank you so much for watching, folks. And remember to be creative for the kingdom. And also, please do like and share with someone who is perhaps going through their valley and needs to know that they too can reach the mountaintop. Like and share. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.